here it is. <laughs> Nassim always wanted what we had done in Northwest, which is the Cadillac of health centers. Uh, for people in Ward 7 and 8 to have the Cadillac of health centers. And I knew she'd make it happen. I didn't know it would turn into the Taj Mahal. <laughs> when I walked in here for the first time, I just had no idea that it was going to be, it's even more beautiful than the other one. And so I'm just so thrilled that that's all happening. I never thought I'd be in the position to donate a piece of art like this to a place like this. I've been HIV positive for 40 years, I think. I got really sick and I got better. Thanks, Dr. Fauci. And uh, I was really broke and I was on welfare and I was on food stamps. And who would have thunk that from 1995 to now, I could have the resources to find an artist like Gio that could paint a visionary painting of Marsha P. Johnson like he did. I was living in New York then, but I wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for places like Whitman Walker in New York, which was GMHC, and the Manhattan Plaza Age Project, and Audre Lorde. They're such a necessary thing because they give people a chance and they give you hope. People know me well, know I love art. And then I found Gio and he so inspired me. It was a show of like all these queer icons, but, and they were all sort of like, you know, this big, but then there was Marsha and she was seven foot by seven foot. And I was like, wow, I couldn't, I had no place for her. Even if I could afford her, I had no place for her. So I just put it in the back of my head. And when Nasima did the navigator program for young, or any transgender person that's, you know, figuring out what they want to do, I just was blown away. That's when I decided, uh, and I was lucky, and I bought the piece from Gio, and I donated it, and now Gio is here to uh, unveil it for all of you guys.